This here is our 1971 John Deere 400. Built in the 70s. Originally came with the KEC 340 CCW made in Japan. This one has uh, sat in the barn for about three years now. It was sitting out back, but I pulled it in to keep it from falling apart due to the elements. It has a ski do ski and a Yamaha Snowjet ski. Currently has a Yamaha Snowjet exhaust that's falling apart and a 440 out of a John Deere Trail Fire, 1979 John Deere Trail Fire. Has the original aluminum tank in amazing shape. Currently, the last time we had it out, about four years ago, one of the drive cogs, um, we got a new set here. One of the drive cogs exploded just due to age. As you can see, this one's not in that great shape. Some of the teeth are cracked and falling apart, but as I've understood from other John Deere snowmobile enthusiasts, some came from the factory in such bad shape. They just threw them on anyway. But we got maybe a season out of it when we put the 440 engine in after we uh, blew the track on our 1979 John Deere Trail Fire 440, which is still sitting out back over behind the shed in rough shape but this thing still has some life left in it it's got a decent track we replaced the bearings like 20 years ago they're not bad but the tracks in decent shape exhaust is in some pretty rough shape we're gonna have to look at this Definitely fell pretty good. Tore off. I don't know. We'll see what we'll do with that. I've got a set of skidoo skis to put on this. I got from a guy who was a parts guy. Had a whole bunch lying around. But with the aluminum tunnel, it's it's still a good sled. We don't really have many other parts for it. Other than the engine, which isn't currently in it. This is the original engine for the 400. It's a CCW. Let's see if we can get the plate here. Model KEC 340. Made in Japan for Canadian Curtis Wright Limited by Kayaratsu Noki Co. Limited. This thing has not run in almost 15 years, maybe longer, but she still turns over. Let's see if she'll chug. Prop the phone up. As you can see, this is the incorrect primary clutch. It is also off of a John Deere Trail Fire 440. We had a parts machine, well, a pile of parts from a parts machine, and we had the 79 440, and one of the parts that we kept was one of the clutches. Got thrown on here after the old clutch blew apart. And I happened to come across a original clutch somewhere in our pile here. Ah. Parts hoard. See if I can find it. So as usual, I was digging around in the long wrong spot, found the wrong clutch. Almost got pretty pissed off because I thought that was the new clutch that I got. Thought someone busted it, but I was wrong. Look back here in our tote. Three wheeler parts. Below that, snowmobile parts. And I found our new clutch for the CCW engine. 
hopefully we can take that off without damaging the engine because the Comet clutch is not supposed to be on there and it did not work well 15 years ago so I imagine it won't work well now so upon further inspection it has the old style carburetor which probably needs a kit might have to tear it apart take the bottom case off Replace the, crank, replace the crank seals, possibly. We'll see. Looks like it has a mount for a starter. I have seen a couple of the 400s with starters, electric starters. Um, would like one. <laughs> Can't find one, easily. That thing needs work before it could go in it. So this is what I have. Over here is a cheap 503 Rotax. Sort of a Safari or something. It's got a single, it's got an intake manifold for a single carb. Don't have the tins for it. And uh, doesn't have any head gaskets. But it was cheap, so I thought maybe I'll throw it in something good to have a spare engine around maybe take it apart and fix it up and put in what it needs find a carb and throw it on something so we have quite a few snowmobiles lying around over here 1970s yamaha snow jet engine we took it out of the snow jet before it was scrapped and it was in a skidoo for a while. 1970s skidoo Nordic, Nordic for a while until that got pooched. And this thing still turns over. It has good compression because it can lift itself up by the wool cord. Still chugging. So that thing's another unit. Still has clutch on it, carb and air cleaner <laughs> or air box whatever you want to call it two different size spark plugs one's out of a chainsaw and one's out of i don't know what <laughs> probably the original spark plug so got some projects here um if anybody's interested in talking about snowmobiles or something let me know again we're in holdeman county Southern Ontario, Canada. If you want to know anybody that's looking for parts or if you're looking for something or have something you want to sell for cheap, again, emphasis on cheap. Again, these aren't big bucks motors. They're cheap motors. They're antiques. There's a reason I drive antiques because they're cheap. There's a rack that I got. No, that's the rack I pulled out of 1980 Citation that I saved from the garbage dump. $200 citation. Put a new rack in it, suspension rack, new uh, coil, thing runs like brand new, surprisingly. It's got a decent track on it too. So that's something. Oh, there's too much shit around here to talk about. But any information to any of these that you find interesting, chat about it, talk about it, let me know. I'll have my email in the description for more information on any of this stuff. Like how to get into it. It's simple. Go on Facebook Marketplace, type in Old Sled, Old Snowmobile. Go on Kijiji, type in old snowmobile antique snowmobile you can find lots for cheap so thanks for watching we'll talk to you later